memories, oh God. Restore the memories from back in the day when we first knew you, Lord God. Restore them. Restore our first love, Father. Restore our first love. We can't lose it, Lord. Thank you, Father.
for every circumstance and situation that would allow us to draw nearer to you. But the greatest prophecy is, it is finished. And we rejoice in the Lord. We rejoice in the completion of your work. We rejoice in the completion of your work in this city, in this church, and in every individual here, God. Every family here. It is finished. It is finished. Oh, yes, God. It is finished. By virtue of God's grace, I am a new creation in Christ Jesus. The old things have passed away and all things are made new. We are the masterpieces of God. We have been created in Christ Jesus unto all good works which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. We are saved by grace and now we are the righteousness of God in Christ. There is now no condemnation for us for we are in Christ Jesus and we walk not after the flesh but after the spirit. We have redemption through the blood of Jesus, the forgiveness of sins. Therefore God has delivered us from the power of darkness and translated us to the kingdom of his beloved son. We are not of this world. We are not subject to the laws of this world. Sin, death, sickness, and poverty have no power over us because the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set us free from the law of sin and death. We are seated with Christ in heavenly places far above all principality, far above all authority, far above all power, and far above all dominion and over every name that can be named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. We have victory because we have, we have the world, we have victory over the world because we have overcoming faith. Satan, we have all authority over you. And in the name of Jesus, we declare your works are destroyed. We have the name that is above every name, the name of Jesus, and in that name, we submit all things under the feet of Christ. We are believers that walk by faith and not by sight. And these signs follow us. In the name of Jesus, we speak in new tongues. In the name of Jesus, we cast out all devils. In the name of Jesus, nothing that we eat harms us. And in the name of Jesus, we lay hands on the sick and the sick do recover. and he said to Abraham that in blessing me I will bless you and in multiplying me I will multiply thy seed now you know what that means right the seed that's his children so he's going to multiply his children that's what we're reading right here so let's see how many children he's going to have he said I'll multiply thy seed as the stars of the heaven have you ever looked into the heavens have you counted all the stars yet? He said, I'm going to multiply your seed as the stars in the heaven and in the sand which is on the seashore. Not like the stars and also like the sand. He said, like the stars and like the sand. I'm going to multiply your seed because you've been faithful to me. And here's the best part. And thy seed shall possess the gate of the enemy. Now you know how important it was to protect possess the gate of an enemy back in the Bible days they built walls around their cities and then if you were going to take the city of your enemy you had to take the gate don't you know that when people went to attack a city they didn't attack the walls they tried to get through the gate now that we've learned here that we're the seed of Abraham we know we're the seed of Abraham and we have the gates to the enemies 
the city of our enemies. Now, what's your enemy tonight? Is it your job? God wants to give you the gate. Is your enemy cancer? Is it a toothache? Is it a headache? Is it a tumor? God wants to give you the gate to your enemies. See, we don't have enemies like we had it back in the day. I mean, we're not going to run up to a gate. This is what God was telling Abraham. This is what God was telling us. So God's asking right now, who wants it? Who's done praying? Are we done worshiping? We know we're not. Did you come here to see who was going to show up? Or did you come here because you knew God was going to show up? What's your enemy's gate? Is it smoking? God wants to give you that gate. He wants to give you power over that. Is it lying? You'd be surprised. Some people are just liars. Some people need to be healed of that. Whatever it might be, God has already told you you have the gate to. So I want to pray for the rest of the night just with y'all, just like we're doing. And God's going, who wants it the most? God's standing up there. Now there's nothing else we can do here to make God's presence more evident here. God's already here. There's nothing else we can do to get His presence more here than it is now. So God's going, who wants it? Who wants it the most? She wants it the most, I can tell. He wants it the most, I can tell. We're early in this, only four hours. We've got 20 hours to go. We're going to see miracles tonight. Likes we've never seen. God's going to give somebody a ministry tonight. Planted in him tonight. A ministry of likes we've never seen. Let's continue worshiping.